Welcome to my lecture online. Sometimes it's beneficial to express the constants in our two wave equations not in terms of the wave numbers of the two regions, region 1 and region 2, but of the energy of the particle and the energy of the barrier, the potential of the barrier. So let's go, go ahead and show you how to do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to replace k1 and k2, what they're equal to in terms of the energy of the particle and the energy of the particle and the potential of the barrier. So this becomes the following. Well, let me start working over here. So we have b is equal to, instead of k1, we're going to write the square root of 2 times the mass of the particle times the energy of the particle divided by h bar minus k2, which is the square root of 2m times the difference of the energy of the particle and the potential of the barrier divided by h bar and then we divide all that by go like this k1 plus k2 so I do the same thing but with a plus instead of a minus so the square root of 2me over h bar minus the square root of 2m times e minus the potential divided by h bar how do we simplify that? Well, first of all, we realize that every term has an h bar in the denominator. So we can get rid of these and we can get rid of those. And then next, we realize that every radical contains a 2m and it's multiplied so we can divide both the numerator and the denominator by the square root of 2m. So this cancels along with this. And so finally, we can say that b, and am I missing something here? Yes, I'm missing my a, can't forget that. So b is equal to, in the numerator, we have the square root of e minus the square root of e minus the potential of the barrier. In the denominator, we get the square root of e plus the square root of e plus, oh, not plus, that will be minus, minus the potential of the barrier times a. And so here, instead of expressing b in terms of a and using the wave numbers, k1 and k2, we can use the energy of the particle and the difference between energy of the particle and the potential of the barrier. We can do the same here for c and a. So in this case, we have c is equal to 2 times k1. Now k1 is going to be the square root of 2me, all of it over h bar divided by k1 plus k2, so the same denominators we have over here, the square root of 2me over h bar plus the square root of 2m times e minus the potential of the barrier divided by h bar, and like this. And notice, again, the h bars cancel out, and the 2m's cancel out everywhere. And so we end up with, and again, I keep forgetting to put my a down. So c is equal to, in the numerator, we end up with 2 times the square root of the energy of the particle. In the denominator, the square root of the energy of the particle plus the square root of the energy of the particle minus the potential of the barrier. And so here we have our second equation. And again, make sure we put a there. So now we have b in terms of a, but using the energies. C in terms of A using energies and those can then be put into our equations up here to get a new set of functions, wave functions, where we only have one constant A, we have an A here, we have an A times some constant, and we have an A here times some constant. Again, the value of those B and C will depend, of course, upon the energy of the particle and the potential of the barrier. That's how it's done.